Hello, I'm Gavin Clark and I'm with the National Museum of Computing at Bletchley Park. Uh, the museum houses a fantastic array of systems, some 50,000 artifacts, big and small, spanning the whole range of computing history. Um, and they have a, an amazing range of volunteers who preserve, maintain and answer questions about those systems with the public. Uh, but they clearly show you they have the most favourite systems out there. Peter Hoth is a volunteer. He maintains the Colossus system occasionally. Peter, if you had to, maintain, if you had to give, give us one fascinating fact about one of the many systems at, at, at the museum, what would it be? Well, it's about Colossus, Gavin, and um, um, the Colossus was part of the uh, so-called Newmanry, Max Newman's operation on the park. And it's estimated that something like 63 million characters of high-grade intelligence and enemy intelligence was read as a result of the efforts uh, around Colossus. Now, that's a bit of a, um, a hard figure to get your head around. If you can imagine a bookshelf with all the Harry Potter books on it, and you start at one end and start to read them, and you get to the other end and you start to read them again, by the time you've read all of them 11 times, that's the amount of enemy intelligence that was read on the back of the Colossus operation. Now, that's a huge amount of information. And surely uh, most people would, 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 would agree, I guess, that that sort of uh, level of information can turn the course of a war um, and has a benefit in life saving on both sides of the conflict. So um, it, it's, uh, it's a, an interesting, a big number that uh, you can put into context by, uh, by looking at it in a real world situation. So there you go.